What's going on? I'm Chaos K, Chicago producer and DJ. You can catch me all through the city. Hopefully, you're sitting near you too. Started about when I was 16. My parents, my mom used to listen to a lot of music from the 60s, 70s. My dad also as well. All music was always in my household, so it wasn't something I wasn't accustomed to. When I turned 16, I went to my first nightclub. It's a little teeny bopper club around my area by Galaxy Club. I started asking questions to DJs around there. The DJs there used to be like local Chicago DJs like B, uh, Bobby D, DJ Speed. I'm talking back in like 98, like it's a while ago. So uh, watching those guys, asking them questions, I was just always like, Infatuated by it, just the whole technique of using equipment and all that. Broke down my parents for my first communion to buy me some turntables when I was 16, some beat up Stanton SK1s. Uh, I mean, nothing special. Uh, used to save up all like my lunch money. I used to gather up, buy records from Superdance, Breakdown B used to own that place, another level. Bought records, things like that. Practice on vinyl, uh, start off that way. And then uh, I wasn't that great at DJing, first off. So what made me, that made me kind of switch gears and start making beats and producing. So from all the records I used to collect from my parents and just crate digging and all that good stuff, I started compiling beats first, crappy, shitty remixes of things. And then that led to another and got my first DJ gig when I was 17, DJing at an energy. And then from there it was a, it was a rap. That was it. The name Chaos K uh, generates from my grammar school days. My old buddies used to call me K, because my name is Kenny. So K for short, and then South Park was a show that we used to always watch. So again, oh my God, they killed Kenny. You used to hear that all the time in seventh grade. And then one of the characters by the name of Butters was in the name of Captain Chaos. I was kind of the class clown, so the name Chaos K was all generated in seventh grade for me, which was a while ago. I'm big with Greek mythology. I like a lot of Greek mythology. I know the Greek god of chaos, that was just right off the bat. <laughs> like, it was just perfect for me, I felt. So just went with that, stuck with it. There's no hidden meaning for it. It's just a name that just came <laughs> My production process, I mean, it's a very easy one. There's no secrets with me and how I produce. Literally, whatever I'm feeling, I'll generate a melody. Uh, if I feel like the melody is not driving, if a melody can stand by itself without any kick or drum, you got something. So from my melody, I then do drums from the drums, get a feel, kind of send around stems of what I'm working on from friends, see if I get feedback. If it sounds great, then I keep rolling with it. If it's not, then I scrap the project. I probably got like 2,000 projects open that are like incomplete that I can probably go back and have music for the next like five years. <laughs> so, I mean, the process is very simple. My favorite thing about producing is just being able to create, like the whole image and the whole sound and I wanted to do this and I wanted to like impact here. It's just, that's the best part about it. I'd rather do the creating part than the DJing part to be honest. And then uh, with the DJing part, just seeing something that you've created come to life in front of a crowd is just the best feeling. Like it could be five people, it could be 10 people, it could be a couple thousand people, whatever. Just to knowing that the fact that I created a track, I'm playing it in front of people and it's getting response, it's getting reaction. You can never exchange that for anything else. I mean, you can hear things and try to imitate and duplicate it, but it's no originality with that. So uh, I just try to inspire myself. I just try to make sure everything I touch doesn't sound like the next person and just kind of separate myself from the same cookie cutter type of textbook thing. Uh, as far as like a musical influence, I mean, back in the day, I used to be influenced by a lot of hip hop heads because I used to be about hip hop and electronic. I used to try to like blend the two together and come up with my own sound or whatnot. But if anybody particular, I mean, Jay Dilla, God rest his soul, Jay Dilla was an awesome influence for me. Uh, Kanye West, just the um, way he used to take simple samples and just recreate them and make them his own. Uh, Ninth Wonder is another person who used to sample a lot of things like that. So just taking elements from all of those people and just kind of like going back and imitating and mimicking it, kind of trying to do my own thing from people ahead of me. I just kind of like mold my sound and my style. If I could sit in the studio with anybody right now, 
I'll probably sit in the studio with Just Blaze. From him, I used to listen to him and watch all his beat making videos back in like 98, 99, and just watch how he's evolved as like a producer now, making trap and EDM and things like that, of that nature, just to watch his career grow from chopping samples with records to making his own samples and chopping himself. It's just, he's grown a lot. If I could sit in a lab with him and pick his brain for an hour, I feel like I'd be a better producer. Music for me, I feel like I'd die without it. I can tell you a definition of music all day, but music to me is like a feeling. It's, uh, it's an expression. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing it to a beat. <laughs> Whether it be showering, I'm showering to a beat. Whether it be in the car, I'm in the car to the beat. Like, I'm always to the beat. It's a part of me. Like, I, honestly, I, I'm not jiving you guys <laughs> or anything like that. If I don't have music around me, then I feel like I have nothing. So music is very, very, very close to my heart. And it'll always be, it'll never leave.